Hello. Um, recently, Microsoft released two new triggers in Microsoft Power Automate. These two uh, triggers is for the Microsoft Teams connector. So you can use these two triggers to create flows for the Microsoft Teams connector. Um, so the first one is when a new team member is added to the team. And the second one is when a message has been selected in a team chat or a conversation. So the first one is uh, an automated uh, trigger. So when, as and when a team member is added, uh, we don't need to do anything. Uh, it triggers automatically. So that's an automatic flow. The second one is when a message has been selected, uh, uh, that is um, an instant flow, which means you, you click on it and you need to do, um, you need to initiate the flow, means you need to trigger the flow manually and then the flow starts running. So that's the difference between the uh, two triggers. So uh, uh, without wasting time, we jump onto the example now. So now we will see the first example, the first trigger, which is um, to fire away any flow when um, a new team member is being added to a particular team. So let's quickly create uh, a team. Click on team. I'm going to create from scratch. It's a private one. Give yourself a a team name, let's put COVID support, create. Okay, I'm going to skip this step. Okay, the team is created now. So let's create a, a flow for a power automate. So whoever um, is being added to this team, uh, they should get uh, alert message or we do some customization. Let's put like a, when an, as and when a, a new member is added, let's put uh, a welcome message to the user. The welcome message will be as a form of a, a post in the general channel. So this is the team and this is the general channel and the post will come over here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have to create the power automate flow. Now uh, we can do, we can create the power automate from your Microsoft teams uh, console. So over here, go to the three dots and try to find the flow. Uh, for me, it's already appearing here. If you click on that, it will take you to the flow. So as you can see, I don't have any flows running. So we're going to create a flow for the first trigger. I'm going to create it from blank, a clean slate. So here, first we need to choose what trigger, what connector we're going to use. Since we're going to use Teams, so we're going to choose the Teams connector. And we choose, so this trigger. So when a new team member is added, then fire away the, uh, then trigger the flow. So this one we're going to add. So we're going to choose which team it is. The one we just created is the COVID-19 support. Click that and click the next step. So the next step is to determine who is the person uh, added to the team. So we're going to use the same connector, Microsoft team, and come down and choose the app mention using the token. Okay, it asks for the user ID. So this user ID we already getting from the trigger itself. So choose the user ID from here. Yeah. So this action will give the details of the user. Then we create one more step, going to the same team connector, and we're going to post a message to the channel. So post a message here. Okay. Click on team. We choose the same team. COVID-19 support. The channel will be general channel. And we put something like welcome the user the user would be returned from the previous step which is get mention token for the user so that's the previous step here so we choose the act mentioned here come on uh, welcome user happy that you joined our team and we put some message saying welcome yeah that's it we're going to save this and go back to home. Yeah, I can see the flow is being created successfully. Uh, so this is the team and a new table is added, get token. So we're going to just go back inside again and change it so that it's a, a user friendly name. Um, let's put like a, a flow for uh, welcoming the new team member. 
start saying is much more user friendly. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, the flow has been renamed. That's fine. Uh, so we will go ahead and add a new team member in my new team in the COVID support. Uh, go back to the settings, team settings, members, add a member, Shahal, Hamid, add and close. Okay, the member has been added. We go back to the team again, to the general channel. And it takes a couple of minutes to uh, post the uh, message because the, this flow is intentionally delaying because Microsoft uh, uh, created this trigger in such a manner. If you are adding and removing a user, the post message, the flow should not trigger immediately and uh, post a message into the uh, general channel. Why? Because you might change your mind as you are creating and organizing the members of a, of a team. So that's why there is a delay. Uh, it's an intentional delay, uh, so sometimes it takes up to 5 minutes, in my tenant it takes up to 8 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video until uh, the flow runs. Okay, uh, that took almost 8 minutes in my tenant, so as you can see the flow has run and put a welcome message uh, uh, that uh, welcoming the user. So this is the flow, uh, the first flow uh, that we have seen. So the second one is around the same thing, but to convert a, a selected message um, into doing something uh, what you want to be. Let, let's pick a scenario. So if my manager gives some a message, uh, uh, throwing up during a chat message, do this, do that. Uh, so you might not, uh, 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 you know, remember all the things and it might not, uh, you, you may miss certainly. And it's also not practical to write it down and go back. So um, the, the, the main way uh, that uh, the latest way that everyone do is having a planner. Okay, how about when as and when the my manager gives me task, I just convert that into a planner task. So that will be very cool. Yeah. So let's create this scenario. Um, um, so let's create a planner first of all. So in this team, I am creating a, a planner. Choose the planner. I'm going to name the planner as COVID-19 tasks. Okay, I'm going to save this. Okay, the planner has been added. So by default, there's one bucket called to do. We're going to add all my tasks, whichever I think has to go into the planner. Uh, let's have it have all has to come and land here. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and pick uh, create the flow. Uh, go back here. It lost again. So go to flow. You might want to pin it. So right click and select thing so it doesn't move away from your selection. Okay, let's create a new flow. Create new flow and create from blank. Uh, this character would be same Microsoft Teams. And this time the trigger would be for a selected message. So the description is it says this trigger allows you to start a flow for a selected message. Okay, so we're going to click this and we're going to go to the next step. So once uh, a message has been selected and triggered, I want to convert that selected conversation or a chat message into a planner task. Okay, so we'll go to the planner connector. So click on planner and it will give you a list of actions for the planner. So we're going to choose the create a task, which is this one. If you want to see the what it does is it create a task in the planner. Yeah, pretty much that's the one we select. And it gives uh, the task detail, the action detail. We need to choose the group ID. In this case, it is COVID-19 support. And uh, the plan is COVID-19 tasks. And the title of that would be whatever the message content of the, of the chat. So message content. So click that. And the bucket would be to-do list. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's save this. And we'll create uh, I put a, a user friendly name create like create create a, a planner task under covid 19 support yeah okay so let's save this one more time okay go to home and make sure the flow is running okay the flow is up and running Right now, okay, uh, it's up and running now, so let's go to the chat now 
and pick a, a old conversation from my other uh, colleague. So this is my old conversation with my another user. So the last chat was like, uh, let's do here are the things that you need to do. There are some points that we need to, you know, I need to keep in mind. Um, so the first one is plan for Christmas break. Okay, what I need if I want to convert this into a, a task. Uh, we already created a flow. We're gonna see how this has been converted into a planner task. So once you hover over the message, there'll be a ellipsis icon, like a three dots. So click on it for more options and come down under more actions again. And you can see your flow appearing here, over here, which is the planner task for COVID support 19. Yeah, so this is the flow that we have created and it's up and running now. So click that. What it does is it's triggering the flow instantly and the flow has just run. So it's so quick it converted the, um, the, the selected message into a planner task. Okay, so just for verification, we go back into the, uh, the teams and see the planner task over here. Go to the COVID-19 support and to the planner task here, COVID-19 tasks. Yeah, I can see the plan for Christmas break has been converted into a task. So let's do very quickly the other task. So next one would be convert the business requirement document into technical design solution document. Same way I'm going to convert into a planner task again. That's done. Moving on to the next plan for new year break and coverage actions. Yeah, that's also I need to add to the planner. Click on here and it will add again. Okay, the next line would be and maybe you need to add this as well. Okay, I don't need this, just like a conversation. And prepare the release and the deployment notes in the production servers. Yeah, this also has to go into the to-do list. More actions and see the planner has. Okay, we click on that again and the flow is running for the last time. Okay, good. So now that we converted all, let's go back to the teams and check if the as everything has been added or not. Yeah, the all the tasks, as you can see, has been converted into um, a task uh, into into my planner. So then after that, if you want to go ahead and you know put some extra details, like you want to put a, day, uh, a due date uh, or you want to assign it to someone else, it's totally up to you. Um, so this is uh, these are the two triggers that we have seen. The first is uh, like let me quickly do a recap. So the first task, uh, the first flow is for welcoming a user. When the user is added, we are displaying a nice welcome message into the same uh, a Teams channel of your choice. This, uh, in this example, we have shown in general channel. And the second one we created is for a selected message, we converted into a planner task. If you want to sh do something else, maybe send an email or uh, send a reminder or even to send like a, a task which has priority, it's totally up to you. So this is just an example uh, to show uh, how what you can do with the Teams connector. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. If you find this useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will post as and when there's a new feature coming out from Microsoft every week. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.